first, I'm super excited to introduce you to Maker Studios, a creative collaboration of over 250 YouTube stars, and they're responsible for over 500 million monthly hits on YouTube. So I went down to their studios in Venice, California, and had a chat. Take a look. Hey, Lisa. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. I've been wanting to check out uh, your studio here for a long time, and maybe give me a little tour and tell me a little bit about what you guys do here. Sure thing. Uh, company we have a, a studio and a network and we we create content primarily on YouTube at our facility here in Venice we produce for about 250 channels and we have about 500 million monthly views and so here are where more of our producers sit and so we always look like YouTube channels and they how do they get under the sort of maker umbrella to be able to come in here it depends uh, sometimes we spot them and we're just like you're amazing and we'd like to work with you and we're right. a partner with you and sometimes we're starting channels from scratch Julie, I have to talk to you about something very serious the hardest part about being Kira Knightley is the fact that I'm always acting it's like I'm always pretending to be modest, you know Lisa, Ben and I have been working for a couple years on the Lisa Nova channel and it's really exciting in the beginning but we kind of hit this wall like we need, we need to build a support system we could create a studio infrastructure and, and bring together a lot of other top content creators. We can create you know, an infrastructure that can support all those channels. This was started by YouTubers and people that were already doing it and making online content. The content we produce is all different. We do a lot of comedy, but we also have music. Yeah, the content creators have really created freedom over what they're making. I'm shooting nerd news, all the things that nerds like, I talk about in my news. Inside news, many of you have been asking me to report on neutrinos. It's a unique place, YouTube, it's a unique space that you have to do it to understand it. How did you hear about Maker? I have actually been for a long time. I was the first one. Wait, you make it? I think I was wrong. Do you wish you had this when you were making all of your stuff? I mean, you're the yeah, I mean, the reason this, this happened too is as out of necessity. We all came to Hollywood all really excited about getting into the entertainment industry and personally just became a little frustrated with the Hollywood system and having all these gatekeepers like if you want to hit an audience you have to get on television or get into a movie and I think when we found YouTube it was just really exciting because it was like wow this is a place where we can build and find a worldwide audience and create whatever we want, whenever we feel like it. And so now we're making about three or four hundred videos a month across hundreds of channels. We started with about eight people or so, and within the first year we grew to about uh, 40 people. And now this is like end of our second year, and so it's up to about 200 people now, and it just keeps growing. You're gonna see the wardrobe. Get a little prop house here. It really is just like a small studio. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. Like a Roger Corman back in the day or yeah. United Artists. I guess United Artists started this, so put it the same way. Yeah. But this is great to see. Uh, yeah, and that's what's unique about us too, I think, just that we are founded by content creators. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we always have that in mind. All I did is that it's a 360. Anything you, you need, we can provide. Well, here is our editing site. It's, it's much darker. And then we have our little animation department over here. And I believe the animation department has a little surprise for you. We have three animated series that we just launched. One of the series has a main character who loves you. Really? So we would love to play. But like an ironic love, like an ironic like love. No, no, so, no, 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 Winner of this episode of Last Call with Carson Daly to tell you the city is being attacked by the Yes. You have kids. When you have unsafe sex, you don't only destroy cities. You also destroy my good time when I'm trying to watch me some damn cars today. All right, so we walked a few short blocks into a, yet another maker building, which is part of the music network. I know a little bit about rooms yes. like this. This stuff isn't cheap. You guys are not messing around. We're not messing around. Well, we put everything back. 
back into it, you know? This has been the best Korean experience cool. of my entire career. I've been out of it eight years, and like, I love this place. It's amazing. In fact, I should like, make it. <laughs> it's great. And it's been an incredible journey. Chris Crane's this huge thing that's like, helping so many different people. We don't see it as a stepping stone. And that's also where the future is. So many kids now don't even watch TV. The YouTube stars, those are the movie stars to a lot of these kids. Thank you for the tour. Yeah. It's awesome. As you know, I just learned a little bit about me. It's so inspiring for you to see this sort of the new generation of helping um, you know, the critical mass out and really make it into this town. A lot of pressure, a lot of work, but uh, we're motivated by the people here in the town here. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hey, thanks to Lisa and everybody down there at Maker Studios. Awesome job. So inspiring you down there. They've really got a cool uh, business model. Thanks for having the cameras. If you want more on Maker, go to makerstudios.com. When we get back, the spotlight tonight is on comedy photographer Seth Olenek and the music Foster the People on Last Call Returns.